Hello there, Simon from SimonWoods.com. I have a strange wine today. Ed Mead's 2006 Pearly Vineyard Late Harvest Zinfandel from Mendocino Ridge. And so it's Zinfandel that has especially been picked late, late harvest. Uh, but it's funny, some, some uh, uh, wines that come over from California, if they get above a certain alcohol level, you... you I think there's some legal requirement that you have to put late harvest on, but this is, um, uh, but they, they have, they're supposed to be dry wines. This is supposed to be a sweetish wine, not hugely sweet, um, but um, uh, five grams per hundred milliliters. I don't know why the Americans don't do it per liter. The rest of the world does it in grams per liter. So 50 grams per liter, um, 15.2 alcohol. Let's give it a whirl. Sweet briar bramble jam. Um, it smells. It smells rich and medicinal, and it smells like it's going to be a classic winter warmer. I'm tasting this in June, so it's maybe not the ideal time to uh, to be tasting it, but um, it smells good, and it smells syrupy, and it smells like if you've got a bit of a sore throat, something like this would do you good. Let's taste it and see. Kirsch, um, plums, really ripe, stewed plums. No, no, not stewed plums. It's... Um, it's, if you're stewing, the problem with stewed plums is sometimes they can be a little bit on the uh, that sweet and sour side. Here it is really very, very ripe plums that, um, that are showing some maybe crystallised plums. That's probably more accurate. And um, uh, it, it, it's not quite as syrupy as, uh, as, um, as the nose leads you to expect. But uh, there is certainly a, a warmth and a gentle fire about it. It's one of those that, um, uh, to be sipped, I mean, it's, it's coming in a half bottle, and a half bottle would uh, very easily go around the table of eight people, and uh, you'd get to the end and think, yeah, I've had enough of that. That was, actually, my, I'll, I, I don't know, I mean, I'm, I'll test the theory later on, but uh, uh, I, d I wouldn't think you'd need a huge amount of that. It's not, uh, the, the idea is it's not supposed to be one of those that you drink with a steak. I think it's more a uh, sit by itself, almost like a uh, Amarone style from uh, from, from uh, Valpolicella, um, or maybe have it with some hard cheeses. I think I'd really like that with some hard cheeses. So maybe I'll go away, see if I can find a good lump of old cheddar and uh, have a rather nice time. See you soon.